Okay, another big story tonight, call center chaos, the latest in our ongoing investigations into California's Employment Development Department. The EDD set up a phone number and remote call center in January. It was supposed to deal with tax issues of thousands of Californians because of the fraud that EDD let get by them. But as KCRA3's Brittany Johnson tells us, EDD has run into technology problems and their operators are overwhelmed. And as a result, few people are getting the answers they we need. We brought in surge staff. We have a vendor, Maximus. We brought in 300 folks to particularly staff this individual 1099G line. At an assembly budget hearing this week, EDD's Carol Williams said a new contractor was hired specifically to help with EDD tax issues. The biggest reason victims of identity theft may be getting tax bills for the tens of billions of dollars EDD sent out to fraudulent accounts. Individuals are um, experiencing the first time when they receive the 1099G that they perhaps are a victim of fraud. But even those who do know they are victims are having trouble just getting answers. People like Mark McLaughlin. I'm a writer and uh, do a lot of freelance presentations on uh, Tahoe history and weather and things. McLaughlin applied for unemployment last year when the pandemic unemployment assistance program was open last year. I signed up on the morning of the first day in April that I was eligible. But McLaughlin never got a penny from EDD. The first person I spoke with uh, told me that they had sent me more than $3,000 worth of pandemic assistance checks to my P.O. box. But I live in a small town. I know the people who work in that post office. It's not like they're taking my checks. So imagine his surprise when this tax form showed up in the mail last month. I got the 1099G for the government. Yes, and they, so now I owe taxes on more than $3,000 worth of uh, PUA assistance money, which of course I never received. McLaughlin believes he was a victim of fraud. So when EDD set up a number to take calls related to the 1099G form, he tried calling. That one day when I finally got through, I probably called 50 times that one day, just again and again and again. And you know, you, it's like transferring your call, this may be monitored and you get real hopeful and then it clicks off on you like that. An operator working for that new contractor, Maximus, tells KCRA3 Investigates that what happened to McLaughlin is what's been happening to most callers. We're not using her name because she still works for the company. Maximus operators are using EDD's computers and software to handle calls from home, but our insider says the system doesn't work. In fact, she estimates three out of four calls end up getting disconnected. Sometimes what happens is we'll get a call. So the system will ring, we get a call, we, we answer it, and we don't get a prompt and we don't hear anybody on the other side. And I don't know if they can hear us. We reached out to EDD about these technical issues. They did not go on camera, but sent a statement saying we did have some of these agents experiencing technical issues and we continue to monitor activity. Agents are to report such issues to a designated technical team for immediate resolution. But that Maximus operator says for those who do manage to get through, the phone system gets overloaded by about 11 in the morning and people are put on a callback list. On top of that, she says most of her calls have nothing to do with tax forms. We jump between answering the basic 1099G questions and essentially being a um, transfer station. <laughs> Most of the calls coming in are asking for help with claims or fraud, and even then, when transferring to the proper departments, the system again disconnects them. There are so many problems going on at EDD that it's not a shock that people are calling every number they can. The technical problems are infuriating Central Valley Congressman Josh Harder who says EDD has done nothing to solve a decades-old technology problem. And it's simply unacceptable to have more than 75% of calls dropped. As a result, Harder and his congressional colleagues are now taking steps to make sure EDD ramps up their response. One of the parts of this federal COVID relief bill that we're working on even in the next week or two is to support uh, agencies like California EDD that are not doing uh, a good enough job. Uh, we need to make sure that they have uh, the, uh, enough resources to hire 
uh, to supercharge their hiring process because clearly they don't have enough people staffing the phones right now. At that assembly budget subcommittee hearing this week, EDD said they had plenty of federal money to handle their workload and claim they will have enough staff by the end of March, which visibly confused state legislators. EDD did not address any of the technological issues. In Sacramento, Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News.